Prince Harry was spotted giving a warm welcome to the Invictus Games to King Willem Alexander, the Dutch head of state. The Duke of Sussex, wearing a dark blue suit and a blue shirt, was all smiles as he shook hands with the sovereign. Also sporting a smart casual look, Willem Alexander briefly stopped to pose for a picture before being accompanied inside the venue where veterans and service personnel from around the world are taking part in the last competitions of this year's event. The two royals were accompanied by Mart de Cruyff, chairman of the ongoing tournament at The Hague. Harry and the monarch were later spotted inside the stadium, where they watched together a wheelchair basketball match between the Dutch and U.S. team. In one picture, King Willem Alexander appears to be in stitches while Prince Harry speaks to him. Fans of the Duke of Sussex were quick to react to the cheerful photographs, with one seemingly mocking claims the Dutch king would snub the Invictus Games despite taking place in his country. Sharing two snaps of Willem Alexander and Harry looking at ease with one another, Twitter user at Invitsby Pep wrote, This is what snubbing looks like, eh? Replying to this tweet, at Ritog wrote, King Willem and King Harry look like they are having a good time. I expect trolls to be pressed because I said King Harry. Another, at Portlandia62, tweeted, I think this qualifies as having an audience with Willem Alexander. Well done, Harry. Great games. However, at Barbecue said, I did notice he waited till the Markle went home. One added, Oh last day does that mean we will get peace now no more Markle and Markle. Another news. Speaking in the NBC Today interview, which aired this week, Prince Harry admitted that he don't know yet if he and wife Meghan Markle will return to the UK for the Queen's Platinum Jubilee celebrations in June. Following the Duke's interview, Meghan's elder half-sister Samantha Markle has savaged the couple over their jubilee plans by stating that the couple decided to abandon the family. Speaking on LBC on Friday, host Nick Ferrari said that the Queen still doesn't know whether one of her grandchildren, the Duke of Sussex and his wife, Meghan, can attend the jubilee celebrations in June. The host asks Samantha, what do you make of that? Samantha replies that being on this side of the pond the U.S. are not aware of the Queen's real feelings. She added, we can only assume that what has happened has been somewhat hurtful. But, you know, I think all things being said whether or not they can attend is largely due to their own behavior, their own creation. They decided to make the move, they decided to abandon the British royal family. Meghan's elder half-sister continues, Harry abandoning British royal duty and the British people as well? That was their choice. That part is probably sad for Her Royal Majesty and certainly not understandable. She concluded, that's how we feel over here. Samantha is the older half-sister of the Duchess of Sussex and the daughter of Thomas Markle S.R., Meghan's father. Last year saw the release of Samantha's tell-all book, which was titled The Diary of Princess Pushy's Sister. During the Sussex's much-anticipated televised interview with Oprah last March, Meghan, when asked about the book, said, I think it would be hard to tell all when you don't know me. She claimed that she grew up as an only child and that she hadn't seen her half-sister in nearly 20 years. Following the interview, Samantha hit back at Meghan's comments. She argued against Meghan's words and said that she had photos of the pair together, including one from her graduation in 2008. Last week, Harry and Meghan took a detour on their journey to the Hauga in the Netherlands for the Invictus Games. They made a UK pit stop at Windsor Castle to visit the Queen. During their visit, Prince Charles and Camilla were reportedly present. The relationship between the Duke and his father had been strained for some time but even more so after his and Meghan's decision to step down as senior royals.